happening around me. Yeah, no, and speaking about that spacing, Tweak opting for the Wario, and I really do like this, this pick. Just because, like you said, Lucina, very fundamental, very straightforward. You know she's going to go with those hoarders, with those neutralers. And with Wario, you have the access to have that air drift to try to go around a lot of those moves. Try to fight her in the air. Yeah. And this is, of course, notably the character that Tweak chose in order to beat MK Leo's Lucina. Right? This is the matchup that he prefers to deal with, especially, like you said, those anti-air is going to come in very useful against all of these aerials that Mystery would like to bring out. Week, taking the early lead. Mr. E now sitting at 91, 100 after the initial bike hit. But you know, he's starting to get some things going. A forward throw, sending Tweak right back off stage. He got the air dodge, just did not pull the trigger. Tweak in such a good position. He's not uh, being too committal, though, in terms of putting on his pressure on this area, at least not in this first stock, right? He just is freely giving up a little bit of that corner space to get a better idea of how Mr. E wants to escape. All right, another forward throw, sending Tweak right back off stage for Mr. E, but he ends up getting a neutral air, finds himself off stage now. And you do not want to be in that position against Tweak and just against Wario in general. You have to worry about the command grab with the bite, but you also have to worry about that forward tilt, having so much power behind it to catch him in a regular getup. And speaking of the bite, G-Pick yeah. right there on the platform, catching Mr. E and killing off the side. Command grabs are so good in this game for that exact reason. Everybody feels fundamentally safe in their shield on a platform, but just leap up there, press that magic button and you can just snipe their life. Look, even if you see the command grab coming, you got six frames before that shield can drop, my man. <laughs> you got, and what, you're going to just jump off that platform and put yourself in an even worse situation? Yeah, <laughs> I feel it. Oh, no, the down tilt not catching, you know, tweak right there. Mr. E still just kind of swinging the sword, trying to find the mark that up tilt going past the bike and into tweak, but still not enough. Again, Wario, such a heavy character. Mr. E doing such a good job now, just taking a couple steps back every time he sees Tweak enter the air and just tossing in that tilt outer so Taking advantage of the fact that he is the one with the superior range, even if he doesn't have the better movement, he still does have some uh, a better range to react in. Yeah, only 10% cracked on finally that up tilt killing at 180. We have full watch ready to go for Tweak as well. I think that's a big part of the reason why Mr. E is backing off so carefully. Oh. But the up tilt online one more time. Actually catching Lucina before the forwarder actually swung down into Tweak. This is some scary stuff, but Tweak's not committing yet to the walk either. No, I mean, I think with Tweak, he's going to try to save it for the next up. Or so use it as a pressure tool here in stock two. Mm -hmm. And at worst, it can also assist recovery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never know the situations that you might be put in. Great patience by Mystery, too. I love all these short hops he's doing while he's juggling. He's kind of putting the thought into each side that at any moment, he might go ahead and do that double jump or an up air and catch him. And in yeah. doing so, you know, trying to force out an air dodge, a little bit of extra, you know, resource usage by Tweak. Mr. E is just trying to fight to get onto the stage. He was just stuck on that platform for so long, swinging that sword so many times. He's just like, Tweak, let me on the stage, please. Like, you, you kill me later. Yeah. <laughs> let and, me have the ledge. And that kind of just happened by Tweak just being so good at movement, right? He kind of quietly crossed up Mr. E as he was working on that juggle, and then suddenly Mr. D had no way out. And just like that, Neo, you absolutely called it. Tweak was saving it, the Waff for the final stock when he absolutely was certain the, uh, the confirm was going to come together. Uh, Mr. E on his way out from that game, moving on to his counter pick. I'm um, assuming Lucina is going to stay in play. I didn't really think there was anything wrong in terms of like the matchup. It's more so just Tweak putting Mr. E in such a disadvantaged state where, you know, he it was very hard for him to get back onto that stage or back into the neutral. Yeah. Tweak just dominating that space. And it was very prevalent on the platforms especially. Especially, it just, it ends up coming down to uh, Tweak ends up getting so much more mileage off of the times he connects a hit in neutral, right? Like, he's able to find all these lengthy confirms or just a straight-up kill. And Mr. E does get neutral wins, too. But it's just like a poke-and-go neutral, where he yeah. pokes, swats, tweak away, maybe finds one more hit, but otherwise he's just kind of fishing for something else to get him, but never actually quite gets that full momentum that tweak is able to find. I mean, but that's just the nature of, you know, the sword characters, like a Lucina, like a Marth. Uh, they're not known to really get these big combos, as you've seen in past iterations of Smash Brothers. They're more of the poke and go, as you said. They're going to get their forward airs, they're going to get their neutral airs, but afterwards, they have to read where their opponent are going. What defensive option are they choosing for me to cover? Right, but then that leads into them the juggle game, right? It's, you have the ability of the sword to cover so many air options um, as, as they're coming down right above you, because there's nothing Wario's going to do that's going to outrange like an up tilt or an up air. 
good back air out of shield from Mr. E. He has you know, Tweak up in the air, trying to cover him with the up tilt one more time, but Tweak able to get right past it, punishing him with that falling up air. Now speaking of falling up airs, Mr. E answering with one of his own. Tweak's, oh man, I was going to say, Mr. E was doing a good job actually chasing uh, Tweak's air drift, but Tweak actually tweaked him a little bit in that previous iteration, made him, uh, helped him find center station there. Yeah, Walk actually hitting in the opposite direction. Mr. E able to hold on to the puck. That's going to be a re-grab. And you have Tweak recognizing it immediately, punishing him with that down air. Yeah, down air being a great choice there, too, because it's such a long-lasting hitbox. In case he was slightly off with his timing, gave him the best window. And Tweak again just jumping up around Mr. E. Mr. E staying strong, able to land that F tilt. The Wario still that big body, not going to die off the side, especially here on Town and City. I like how uh, when Tweak's shield is getting poked right now by Mr. E, he's actually disengaging. He's not trying to jump in there or anything. He recognizes he's at 170%, and he's trying to just get a clean hit in neutral as opposed to hoping for some sort of punish out of shield that might be punished in turn by Mr. E. Mr. E got that parry, unfortunately, can't get anything else out of it. And again, Tweaks is on point with all of these punishes. If it's not guaranteed, like you said, he's just backing right off. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, right, he's got already 70% on Mr. E and sitting at 174 himself. He can actually find another kill on Mr. E if he plays his cards right. Might look just like it. Oh my goodness, the bike mixing up where he is going to land a getup attack. Swatting Tweak right off of him and the bike exploding in his face, but that forwarder gonna find the mark. Yeah, Mr. E kind of recognizing the uh, bike situation for what it is. Knew that by tossing the bike at Tweak, he was forcing an option, and then he could punish whatever option that was with his sword swing. And he'd have the luxury of actually getting to react to it too. Uh, Mr. E actually opting for the upwards angle of that dance blade. It looks like he just wants to keep Tweak in the air, trying to cover the landing, but unfortunately, that is not the case. Tweak running up, catching the down tilt before Mr. E is able to grab onto the ledge, and the dash attack going to take the stock. Yeah, have ourselves a full stock lead now by Tweak. Yeah, danger, very dangerous spot. Triple up air leading into the forward air. Now, Mr. E sitting at 65. And it's so hard to land against uh, Wario when he's in the air because his air drift, again, it's so good. He can stay right below you and, he, oh my god, it's just like that. Finding himself that falling up air into the straight waft, Tweak winning with a two stock. This is, I, I still agree with you, Mio, that like Mr. E's like, it doesn't feel like there's anything fundamentally wrong with Lucina. And when he does have the win in his sails, he is able to put a lot of pressure on Tweak. But in terms of finding the, uh, the situations to punish with a killing blow, it's been very hard for him, especially on Town and City with such a large blast zone. So I'd be interested in seeing maybe Mr. E go to a stage smaller, and, but the risk there, of course, is then that Tweak can kill him so much sooner, too. Yeah, I think a battlefield probably help out a good amount, mm -hmm. uh, just because Lucina having that sword able to shark between the platforms, really covering the landings that Tweak wants to go. But you also just run the risk of giving Tweak the combo extensions off of those up airs, as we've already seen so far, even on Town and City. Yeah, but, but Smashville is going to be the pick once that one single platform in the middle to try to cover. And not only that, this is going to be opting for that small blast zone strategy. Uh, Mr. E not wanting Tweak to get a lift to 174%. Here, a forward air off stage will definitely do the trick. Yeah, and even then, the up tilt that he's been doing so much, going to kill that much earlier, as opposed to killing at 180. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good. I think that's another, you know, change Mr. E is seeing. When I see that neutral air coming to land right on top of me, I get a hit up air, the fastest I've ever hit in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tweet trying to sneak his way to the other side with the bike, but Mr. E stays on top of it. And this is something that Mr. E is doing such a good job leveraging here on Smashville, is when he has the, the momentum right, he holds center stage right below the platform. Because Tweet's options then are get up and be in the corner, or try to come down from the platform itself. And then Lucina can either up tilt to cover the platform or up air, or just can keep throwing out sword strikes in order to keep you in the corner. Ooh, speaking of sword strike, that down air going to strike into Tweak. Not quite going to get the follow up with the up air, even the up tilt. But speaking of up tilt, Tweak able to land his own, leading to the wall, but still not enough to take it away. Ooh, back air dropping down from that platform, able to go into Mr. E and the F tilt going to catch him. Mr. E was threatened, thought another backer was going to be coming, and he had to recover high. Yeah, Tweak's just finding the right moments now to wait while on the platform. He's able to find little tiny whiff punishes, even though he's supposed to be the one in disadvantage, right? 
just barely the tip of his up special connecting the up tilt and Mr. E not doing it. And you know, even though Smash Bros. is supposed to be smaller, we no. have Tweak outliving his previous life. <laughs> like, Unfortunately <laughs> enough, he ended up getting the latest hit on that up tilt, the very back. But finally, he gets the strong hit of it, taking that one away. Overall, though, in terms of momentum, Mr. E is able to stay in control so much easier on this level. That being said, though, when the table is turned, Tweak is the one who has himself that shelter under that platform. He's able to deal just as much pain to Mr. E, being able to just slightly outspace him back towards center stage and constantly hitting him for trying to move too fast. Oh, we get caught by that neutral air with that roll. Tweak putting on so much pressure with the bike there as well. Mm -hmm. Back air, Mr. E. So close to losing that stock, but he rising up off of the ledge with that forward air, back air, still not enough. How is he going to get back? Yes, just using the Dolphin Slash. The back air only making contact with the bike, not Tweak at all, and Tweak. Showing so much patience while in that disadvantage, right? Used the bike to just stall out in the air, touched the corner of the platform, and then made his way back down here. And because of that, gets himself another edge guard on Mystery, just calling, getting a glancing hit on that dolphin sli uh, slice. Yeah. Slash. Unfortunately, what ended up happening is that Mr. E was having a flashback from one of the past games. Is that when that down air connects, it's going to send him out. He thought it was going to send him out again or send him into the stage for a stage spike. Tried to tech, but Tweak landed on the stage instead. So he ended up getting that air dodge. And oh my goodness, I think if that bike was not there, we were going to see that walk. Yeah. We already have ourselves Mr. E evening it up one stock apiece. This is the closest we've seen these two go so far. Mr. E can keep his cool in terms of making it back from the stage, but Tweak's so good at picking out just the moments to capitalize with that falling up there. Closes out Mr. E yet again with a loft and wins 3-0. Mr. E's going to have to... Oh, yep.